Hey guys, and welcome to the adventures. Finally, we are bringing you the tour of our 2024 International LT made over into our micro tiny house. We're so excited. We know we're over the top and we're extra and we have things like wool seat covers and wallpaper, but guys, it's more than just a job. It's more than a career. It's a lifestyle. So it's important to adapt everyday life into living in a truck. And that's what we've done. So come along for the tour. All right, guys, I'm going to go over some of the stuff that I um, added to this whole project. First of all, you have to have your fluffy, fluffy seat, uh, sheepskin seat covers. Uh, they do help with moisture control, but um, they do require a little bit of maintenance. When it, That's when the uh, trusty air hose comes into play. You know, you just blow them off, good to go. I was really second guessing myself on whether to buy the WeatherTech floor mats because they are kind of expensive but they do catch a lot of stuff and I keep my driving shoes over here on the driver's side whenever uh, we're eating dinner I just leave them up there so I don't track a bunch of stuff in the truck and then I leave my outside shoes over here on the passenger side so whenever I get out uh, I don't track a bunch of stuff in the truck but you blow them out with the air hose real easy and they're easy to maintain right here we have our facebook yard sale find a uh, striker 447 hpc2 a pretty good little radio and one thing to keep in mind if you're going to hook up a radio up here don't ask me why but the green wire is the power wire the white wire is the ground wire double check it uh, with a power meter or something to make sure you hook up the right wire because our old Cobra bit the dust because I didn't check. So just double check that. Okay, so Little Willow has a bunch of stuff. She's so cute with her hair done, but she has a neater feeder. We have a big video about things that you should use with your pup or your fur baby in the truck. So our neater feeder goes right here. She has a toy box and we keep all of her stuff in there. She gets it in and out when she wants. And then in the passenger door well, we have her harness, her leash, we have a, bowl in there to clean her feet if she gets sand on it and then a cloth to dry her feet off because she is so little she gets wet so often from the morning dew or gets sand in her feet and we don't want that track in the truck and in the bed so make sure you're prepared another odd thing that we do with our truck is we rarely get out of the driver's door we actually use this as like the front door of our house we really try to make this truck into a home and so we regularly get out the passenger side of the truck. We do find it helpful to contain dirt and things like that. And then you're also not working around the steering wheels, so the chances of you falling out of the truck are a little bit less. The really big thing that you see is that we took the doors off of all of the cabinets. It is really a big false sense of security. Guys, if you have ever seen an accident or been in an accident with a truck, everything comes out and the truck gets destroyed. So having the cabinet doors on, long term we felt like it was just going to annoy us more these cabinets are notorious for the latches and the snaps breaking the doors are flying back and forth slamming rattling and making no more noise we're team drivers so the less noise the better anything we can eliminate wiggles or jiggles or sounds we do so so after we took it off then what i did is i got this removable wallpaper i had a lot of research trust me a ton of research it's not gonna hurt the cabinet but i put wood grain wallpaper on the side of it and then i put slate blue on the bottom and made it feel more like at home when it came to cabinets and then on the inside i did not like the way that the plastic looked just really junky and didn't feel finished so i got foam core board from the dollar tree with some velcro cut out the pieces and lined each one i know it's extra guys i understand that and some of you are like there's no way i'm going to do that but there are so many of you that reach out to us that say i didn't set up for retirement or i just got married and i'm going to go on the road to make big money and pay off my debt and set myself up for a future Part of setting yourself up is making sure that you can maintain mental health. So doing things like this and making it feel like a permanent situation that's more enjoyable is it, crucial for your mental health. When you don't do this, it's gonna be harder to sustain this lifestyle. So take off the cabinet doors, add some decorations, do what it takes. You know, again, don't do permanent damage to the truck. 
But then after that, we went ahead and added shelves into here. And so on the shelves, we spaced them out how we wanted. This air fryer has been amazing. There is a space in the back and this cabinet shelf right here is shorter. That way the heat ventilates out and comes out of the cabinet. We have not had any problems with that, but this air fryer has three different shelves. We cook so much food in it. And then we have our skillet. The skillet has only come off the shelf one time in a hundred thousand miles. Guys, the road was really rough. It was a crossover construction zone. So and does that worry us? No. And then who, up top we have- Who was seat. driving when that happened? So Scott's behind the camera. He says who was driving. It was him. I wasn't going to rat him out. <laughs> he may drive a little crazy every once in a while, but no. it's okay. Then we got a little basket with different stuff in it for willow, hairbrushes, toenail clippers, things like that. So moving right down, everything is Velcroed down and organized. Cooking is big to me. So I have oil and vinegar sets. So these are all high-end oils, um, natural honey. This one is for fresh pro produce. We have some potatoes in there. Yes, they still have the dirt on them, so that way they stay fresh longer. Little one's having a fit. She's wanting me to so, sew. Next thing up is our spice drawer. This is how it really looks, guys. I did not go ahead and clean and organize a truck just to make this video. This is real life. So these all have separate cubbies and containers. So that way when I'm cooking, I can pull this whole thing out and set it on the table to cook with. And it has, this is like our spice cabinet. Moving down is our fridge. We did do a, an entire video on organization of the kitchen, trucker's kitchen and the refrigerator and how you can maximize your really small fridge. We fit an entire week's worth of fresh produce and meats in our fridge and freezer just in this little tiny thing that comes with the international tractor. And also with the appliances, we only use the inverter that comes with the truck, which is about an 1800 watt. That is a common question we get. Most of our appliances do not go over 1200 to 1500 continuous watt. So that's a uh, power surge. So, um, we only run one thing at a time so that we're not overwhelming and overloading the inverter because once you do that too many times, you are going to burn it up. Not gonna be good. So also right behind here, we have our sound machine. You'll see more wallpaper acting as a backsplash. So we count this section as our kitchen and the truck and moving back. This is our living room and our bedroom. So right now we have it set up as our living room. And we leave it like this during the day a lot. So Scott made our bed into a futon couch. So if you wanna see that video, we'll leave all of it linked down below of how we've done different things. So we have a video how we made this. And again, we put the wallpaper up here. Um, we put it over here and it really just changed the space and makes it feel a lot more cozy and like at home. For our storage for our clothing, our clothing goes right up here. So we have two different sacks of clothes. We um, put all of our clothes together. Again, there's a video for that. How do we store all of our clothes and make it nice and neat, tidy, organized. We fit, um, we could really fit two weeks worth of clothes up here by the way that we organize them if we wanted to. We only do about a week's, but this is our couch. And now um, moving over here, we have different baskets uh, for different things. So cleaning cloth, different things like that. Um, silverware so it's all wrapped up with a wonderful grippy stuff this stuff keeps rattles down you guys in the truck it is your best friend and um, we just have different containers our water pump fresh produce willow's food and treats and just Tupperware containers things like that so by having these baskets in there it helps separate things and it helps keep it way more organized I highly suggest just being very very organized it's gonna make life easier and make it you don't really have to be thinking about things you're just doing things we did add lights to the end of right here we're gonna be upgrading those because we felt like it still wasn't as bright as what we wanted to when it's getting dark it's about ready to be winter time so we're gonna want to add more light as the Sun sets and it gets dark in here we really try to utilize all the bit of room that we can in this truck and make it super functional. So back here in this little hole is a trash can. Can in that little hole is where Scott puts all of his Dr. Pepper cans and recyclables. So as we're eating supper, when he's done, he just puts it right down in there. And at the end of the week, I pull it out. So we just pull it out right here. 
these boxes are our bathroom. So you might have seen our video about our compostable toilet and whatnot. So that's where that goes. Um, underneath here is our tunnel type bathroom. It's a funny video, guys. Check out that video. Um, and then moving up, we have our ditch, dish storage. So we try to make really everything easy access because if you have to pull stuff out, if you're having to move stuff, it takes more time. I talk about having micro bursts of time. So that way when you save tiny amount of time, it makes a huge difference. It means a difference of if you showered today, exercised today and ate a home cooked meal today, twice. So by making things right here, easy access, you're not digging through stuff, you're not unpiling stuff, being really organized is key to success in doing things. So this is my coffee station, the front part. I do the bulletproof coffee, so this is really MCT oil and collagen powder, my coffee, our bowls, our plates. And so after I'm cooking, um, how I have it set up, you guys know the prep station here, um, dishwasher system, and we make it into a table. So you guys, it makes a huge difference. And then right here, I just have odds and ends like my hot hands and um, that way I can get the stuff out of the air fryer, dish soap, my coffee cup, my electric tea kettle. Um, and then the next one up, I have more food. And um, yeah, check out our kitchen organization and get more of that information and the deep dive in it. So next up is our sink. Let's go over our sink system. So the cloths that I personally use are the Norowax cloths. You guys can do your own research. I also have old videos that you can pull up and look at how great these cloths are. And then the next thing is we have a collapsible bucket. And so we collapse it on down. And then of course we have our drying mat and our sprayer. So I'll set that back there and then our soap. So when dishes are done, soap stores in there. The table comes back. The dish pan flat stores right here. And you can see, wash your hands. So let's dive into that a little deeper. We have a hot water heater. It's amazing. It's called the Hike Crew. Um, it has a small propane bottle that is set up behind here. And so you can pull these out. So these are six gallon jugs. So when you pull this jug out, back behind here is our propane tank. And the propane tank is just one of those little ones for the camp stoves. We did get the extended nozzle so that way the tank can sit firmly on the ground. So we take these out. One is for drinking, one is for dishwater. And there is a pump that goes down into side here. And so we did discover that these jugs do fit this nozzle and this whole best and water rarely spills out. Then we attach this little hook right here. So that way, after you're done doing dishes, you can hang up the wet cloth. Boom. We like to keep our bathroom out of sight. Here we go. So some of you are probably wondering, why does this cabinet look so different? This is an international truck. There was a big bulky step that came out to here. And when you get in the refrigerator, you would sit on the step by mistake and it would really hurt. I'm sure all of you have done that. So we took the door off, we took the step out, and it added so much floor space and made it so that we could put this in here. Another thing that we added is a shelf right here for our uh, hot water heater to sit on. So that way it was is right up there. So we just use the system, put a little curtain up, made it look a little bit more like home. And this is the spray nozzle. So it does get hot water. It just sits right there. All right, let's talk about our table. This is a lagoon table. We use it for many things. We use it for our dinner table, set like this, dishwashing system, prep station, or it fits all the way back here. You guys may have seen me doing some cooking videos while Scott drives. It gets sandwiched in between here pretty well, and the plug is right here. It keeps things nice and tight and organized, but we love the lagoon table. We mounted it right down here. It's completely adjustable to the height different um, adjustments. It's a 360 swivel. 
and it's worked great for us. We got it off the internet and then we built our own countertop to whatever length we thought was best for us because we do believe eating dinner at the table is really important guys. We talk about mental health and things like that and eating at a table especially if your husband and wife team drivers sitting at a table together sharing a meal is really important so I want to encourage you guys to take your trucker's kitchen cooking your cab to the next level. So where this gets stored is right behind the passenger seat, right like this. A few things that continue to make this truck more into a home is we get a nice rug that also cuts down on dirt and dust in the truck. It's easy to shake out. We take it home every couple weeks and wash it. But then over here we put Scott's Dr. Pepper because that way I can sit on this little box right here and restock the refrigerator and makes it easy, guys. Again, convenience everywhere. And then don't forget this little box right here. This thing is everything. I it it helps <laughs> it helps Willow get up here. Come on, girl. It helps me get to the top bunk. It works as so many things. I don't know, ladies, if you're not super tall, you might wanna build one of these boxes. You'll find it super versatile. And every once in a while, when we're in a big hurry and I don't want to set up the couch and do all the table things, I just pull this box up, set it right here, and I use it as my prep station and cooking dinner. Let's get this couch back into a bed. Again, if you wanna see any of the big details of it, there is a video that will be linked down below. So right off, we move Willow's little cage right here. This is her safe space. So this is where she sleeps at night. And um, we have it up there because that's where she eats her supper. And so all I do, pull this forward, pull this out. There we go. So the bed is flat. And now everything is stored up top. So let's jump to the top. So moving to the top bunk, we have the wedge pillows that make it so that our bed is an adjustable bed. We have our bedding all tidied up, folded together with our pillows. So during the day when we have the bed set up, all of this gets stored up here. And then we have our laundry bag so we can reach it as soon as I stand on my little step, throw the dirty laundry in there. We have a coat hook hanging up our coats. And right now we don't really need them much, but if it's raining like crazy, we want to be able to get them down. And then we store our toilet up here. Then we have this cabinet. So this cabinet is mounted in. It does have brackets going into the bunk. You can tell we got rid of the mattress to equal more storage. So go vertical, use the height, most of you aren't really using the top bunk anyways. This makes a ton of extra storage. We also secured the shelves in with extra brackets. We have the grippy stuff. So one of these containers is for breakdown. So there's some fuses, there's some duct tape, there's some Gorilla tape, some um, scissors and Velcro and just all kinds of stuff that we could help if we break down. Yes, we have used duct tape and wire and different things like that to fix breakdowns. Um, we have additional stuff down in the bottom of the truck, like ratchet straps, things like that. And then this other one is more like first aid kit. So we have some medicine like Pepto-Bismol and, um, band-aids, just different things like that. It's stuff that you're not going to want all of the time, but if you need it, you need it and it's going to be hard to find. And then we have extra paper towels, toilet paper, and then up here, one thing I do want to highlight on, we made a video about this. Um, last year, but this is our Jace Medical. So Jace Medical um, is a company that does um, antibiotics. So there's five different medications, not just antibiotics, but can treat many different things. Over the road drivers, I don't know how, how many times you've been sick on the road and you can't get to a doctor or things like this. This has an entire um, kit in here that gives you some breakdowns on how to treat yourself, but you can see. So common things. Um, including bronchitis, um, if you got a really bad stomach virus, those are just a couple things. And in today's culture, like, what if you got COVID? Guess what? You can treat yourself with this if you need to. It's not very much. It was $200 for this kit, and it's good for an entire year. Um, yeah, so, but we have some other things in here. Um, I have asthma, so I have my nebulizer with nebulizer medicine, things like that, because when I need it, I need it. 
and we don't want to be caught on the road without it. I do need to add a bungee strap going like this to keep this in. Right now I've been having to put this down because it does slide out, but we also have extra bedding. And then this is our shower bag and our tech bag. And we have that on grippy stuff. So yeah, and you might see there's this rod across here. That's for our extra curtains. So we do make extra curtains for the bunk. So you might notice that we have these little springs underneath here. Again, check out our Better Night Sleep entire playlist. So this is our Froley sleep system. We have done huge studies. We have probably a hundred study hours into sleep and the importance of sleep, sleeping adjusted, sleeping with the Froley system, how it helps your body and things like that. So deep dive into that playlist. But there's really big whys on why we do this guys. So you saw it didn't take long at all to transform the futon couch back into a bed. It really doesn't take much time, energy, or effort, but it does add a ton of value and it really helps us live a normal life or more of a normal life, I should say, while being on the road. You saw little Willow. She knows that when the couch goes down, it means bedtime is near. She's starting to figure out her schedule, her routine. So she turns eight months old this week and she knows that after supper, it's bedtime. Guys, we do have a strict routine, a strict schedule, and we might seem extreme or over the top with this, but we have really big goals, really big ambition. We are going to pay off our house in two years. And to give you insight on that, that's a mortgage of $150,000 paid off in two years. So that's our goal. That's what we're working towards. And to do all of this means that we're going to be able to stay mentally stronger, healthier, happy, and just allow us to live in the truck longer and push even harder. When you don't make life a permanent situation and you're using throwaway plates and you're eating out all the time, it really affects your mental health and it takes the edge off. So pushing through and persevering on a really ambitious goal is going to be harder. So guys, I want to encourage you to make your truck into a home. I hope you've enjoyed the tour and that you feel encouraged that you want to do this and go back and see the original video of what it was like before we did anything. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment below. Reach out to us, especially on Facebook and Instagram on a private message. We love to help you guys, mentor you guys, um, just encourage you guys, help you think outside. Help you think outside the box. And that way you guys can be doing this too. There's nothing special about us. Yes, we have 45 years experience on the road, seven years as husband and wife team drivers, but I promise you can do this too. All right guys, so stay safe and enjoy the adventures. Bye. So Angela may have kind of made a bad judgment call when she picked me to marry because I am a smoker and she is not. I've smoked for a long, long time. But one thing that I do to uh, keep the truck from smelling like smoke you could get in this truck and you could never tell that I smoked in it except sometimes there's some ashes over here but if you put this down on the floor put this on fresh air and then turn it down about halfway and then crack your window about that much it blows the air from the bottom of the floor right up out of the window and she can smell it but she don't it doesn't bother her so just one thing you can do if you uh, are in a truck with a non-smoker